Well, good day to you. You join us on uh, a pretty wet afternoon here. The clouds have opened and it is uh, raining, a little bit wet and miserable. But that ought not to put us off. We are all indeed itchy to go. Last few uh, final checks and formalities are being gone through now. There is a very good crowd in, a boisterous crowd too, smashing atmosphere. And on a day like this, in this part of the world, there is nowhere you would rather be, with or without the rain. This one of the great amphitheatres of the game. You are welcome to it, and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures. Gentra Bierli have gone with a 4-5-1 gem. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. Now we're on the way. Well, he's made sure that that won't get through. to locate someone up front. Well, he's certainly caught him there, it's a free kick. Going for goal! And out to safety. Sessegnon. Aite gets it out to the wing, gets away from his opponents, goes for goal! Oh, good effort, he got plenty on that. Yeah, the shot was enabled, Peter, due to such smart control and technique. Deftly done. Cleared away. Tries to get it forward quickly. Big chance! Goal! First blood drawn. I can give the keeper a little sympathy here because I think he might have been slightly unsighted. However, credit where it's due, it's still a fine finish from a tight spot. Good to pay, take the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Sessegnon spreads it towards the left. Lovely bit of skill there. Has he found his man? Uh, ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Jerome, Jerome, he has done it, and they're at it again in double quick time. Gustepe are looking strong on the break, winning the ball in midfield is one thing, but it's the clever use of counter-attacking, that's the real highlight. So that's two now without reply. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Hoists it forward. Jerome desperately wants to get on the end of this.
drives it towards the front. Doesn't get the pass he's looking for. Jerome really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. It's being played forward. Looks to bypass the midfield. Goalkeeper's ball. And we've reached half time. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Look, Peter, this isn't good. Their body language is not encouraging, and the manager must have a, a major verbal impact, or else. Start of the second half. Look, before they might get too carried away with thoughts of getting back into the game, they can't afford to slip up and concede another. The next goal becomes crucial. And it's played forward. Forward it goes. Hoists it forward. Now can he finish? Room for a shot. Regardless of the outcome, it is good to see someone running at the defence like that. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Done very well to intervene. Well, that's where he wants it. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Aite. Aite. Beautifully done. So who's he picking out? Turns and goes back. Aite. Sessignol. Out towards the flank. Goes for the cross. Tries to get it clear. Sessignol can't get the better of his opposite number. The referee's awarded a free kick. Sessignol! Steered forward, just brushed off the ball there. And that will be the final act. Genschler barely beaten here. They might well feel aggrieved, but the result is everything. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Well, the surprise for me 